Milledgeville was the state capital. In the past, the industry here was, it was led mostly by Central State Hospital, so there was a lot of state jobs. You know, when that all ended, kind of downtown got very blighted. What we have done since 2008 or 2009 is try to reinvent ourselves uh, with O State Capital. Uh, we have three colleges here. We're a community of approximately 20,000 people. We've been able to find tax money dedicated to our downtown because we know how important it is. We have plenty of incentives downtown that have helped to draw different businesses to downtown. Over the past 10 years, our 50-50 facade match grant has really transformed our downtown. 10 years ago, the, the look was very different. Um, we had a lot of blighted buildings, many needed paint, um, just improvements to the windows. We have probably seen over 60 facade renovations. What is the history of Campus Theater? Well, the Campus Theater was opened in 1935 as one of the premier theaters at the time, uh, part of the Martin Theaters Group and um, it was open until 1983. It's always important to us to take care of our facilities, especially historic facilities. So we wanted to be sure that we kept the architectural integrity of the building. So we did do a full, um, true restoration of the exterior. The facade, we, we took back to its original glory. We were able to reuse the, the interior of the space while saving the exterior. One of our biggest strengths in the Georgia Main Street program is our design services. And so we provide design assistance specifically for downtowns. Everything from facade grants to character area plans, corridor plans. Uh, we do anything that we can to help the community design a community, a downtown, a Main Street area that will attract investment. I remember visiting this town when I was 16 in 1996, I believe. My older brother's going to school here. And I've had the pleasure of watching it grow into what it is. We have a really fun downtown atmosphere and everybody's working together. And I'm starting to see some of these empty buildings are now getting bought and going to be building, I mean, other businesses, restaurants, uh, loft apartments, things like that. So it's, it's pretty cool. To me, it says you know, we're doing something right. Created an atmosphere where it's not just a plastic wall building. It's, it's actually, I mean, we were talking about it earlier. The walls in here are even pretty, but we try to create an atmosphere within that that says, hey, we're happy you're here. We're happy you're spending time with us. Thanks for maybe getting something from us, but also thanks for coming in and realizing this is, can be an extension of your life. Recently, in the past year, we created a new program called Boost. It's a community-led and community-driven program that Main Street is kind of just in charge of. Uh, with us being a startup company, being brand new, our cash was kind of tight, as you can imagine. And uh, as any startup business owner will tell you, you need to try to fund whatever you can as cheaply as possible and still get it across. Uh, we needed signage, we needed a security system, we needed ways to help us save money, so we applied for the Boost Grant. It, it was great to be boosted, everybody runs in the door, holds up a big check with balloons, says you've been boosted. It's, uh, it's kind of like Publisher's Clearinghouse a little bit. And the money can be used for a variety of things. People feel really good about making donations and helping others, and the best thing about it is you don't have to repay it. I'm really excited about Milledgeville, Georgia because I think it's one of our best communities in the state. They've really taken on the historic preservation challenge that we all face in Main Street, but they've married it well with economic development. And I really think that once you come to Milledgeville, you'll understand why we all are in love with this place.